The ancient temples in India were built not for prayer. Do you know this? Do you know that the ancient temples in India or even today, in the temples nobody leads a prayer. You go, you walk around, you sit, you eat prasadam <laughs> and come. So there is no need to pray to God actually in a temple, but they told you if you go there, you must sit there for a while. Did they tell you? But now you go there, just touch your bottom to the floor and you go away, fulfilling a ritual. <laughs> That's not the idea. There is a whole science in using certain shapes and forms and sounds in such a way that it can become a huge field of energy. If the shape and size of the idol, the mudra that it holds, the inner garbhagraham and outside parikrama, if there are many parameters, if they're all properly matched and if you consecrate it in a particular way, it can become a very powerful source of energy. So every day in the morning in the tradition they told you, before you go to work, you have a shower, go sit in the temple for some time and then get into the world. The idea is, this is like a public battery charging place. You go sit for some time and go. At the same time, they also told you, people who are walking the spiritual path need not go to the temple every day. Do you know this? People who are on the spiritual path need not go to the temple every day. That means you have your own self-charging methods. If you have your own self-charging methods, the need to go to the public charging place is not necessary anymore. But these days you are building temples just like you build your comp shopping complexes, probably for the same purpose. That's a different issue. If it is properly done, it can be a huge field of energy that one can imbibe and experience. You don't have to believe in any of those gods and nonsense. You simply sit there, quietly, not blabbering with anybody. If the place is alive, it could touch you. That's the whole idea. Most of the temples we have killed in the last few hundred years because of not knowing how to manage them, especially in Tamil Nadu, they're dying very fast because certain fundamentals of how to maintain it have been changed in the last few years. So, lot of temples are just dissipating because they need to be kept up. There was a whole system of how to keep up the energy in that place, but uh, not knowing what to do, simply doing their own things, it is… lot of them have died, but still there are many, many of them which are very alive. If it's an alive place, just sitting there quietly would make a difference. If it is not, anyway sitting quietly would make a difference <laughs> <clears throat> To be spiritual, should I go to temple? Not essentially. If you have a need to sit in a particular place which is of a certain atmosphere, a certain conduciveness, yes, it's a personal choice. Spirituality and temple has nothing to do with each other. But if you need some supportive atmosphere, yes, 